What's up YouTube, Walt's How To's and Reviews. Today I'm gonna to be going over this Chicago Electric 12 inch dual bevel sliding compound lighter saw from Harbor Freight. I'm gonna give a brief overview, cons, pros, would I recommend this? So this isn't a tutorial on how to use a miter saw, but the reason I call it dual bevel, you can go both ways this way. And you can slide it this way, slide it this way. So you can make almost all the intricate cuts that you need to. Um, you also loosen this guy. There's a lot of room to where you can cut pretty big board sliding back and forth. I believe it says about 13 inches. And pretty much all the nice miter saws. This has all the bells and whistles that one of those would. Uh, it doesn't come with this stand. It doesn't come with a blade. So if you buy it and you're about to use it, it's gonna be on the ground and you're gonna need a blade. So get that before you go home to use it. All right, now let's go over the cons. Biggest cons are, uh, I wouldn't trust this straight out of the manufacturing plant to be square. So if you buy one of these, you're gonna need a square as well. You'd be fine with a speed square, but mainly to make sure, hey, is this blade square to the fence? Mine actually wasn't. You can make adjustments, and that's what I needed to do. There's a little bit of wiggle room in the presets, and I know I need mine to be on the far right to be a perfect 90 degree angle. The Sticker here, luckily mine was dead on when I used, I used a speed square because this gets in the way to make sure you know, it was 90 with the bottom here. And if it wasn't, that might be a little bit harder to adjust, but you can make it work. That's the biggest con. Another con is, which I don't really think is too much of this, this fault, is the only thing that's really plastic is this guard right here. And my buddy was using this and actually broke it. He did say it was his fault, nothing wrong with the saw but I imagine if you spent like 800 bucks or 500 bucks on a nice miter saw, this would be a little sturdier and wouldn't break. Um, I did say, I think I could buy a replacement on Amazon for like 40 bucks, but this saw cost me like 130. I even in 120. I think they're like 160 retail, but you can get a coupon, get it down. Last con is, it says that it has a laser. It does, and it's not plugged in right now, but half the time mine doesn't work. I don't really use the laser anyway, so not a big deal, but my laser is always having issues and not working. Those are the only cons I could really think of. Let's move on to the pros. Biggest pro is the price. You know, 130, 160 bucks for a miter saw like this. It's unbeatable, it's great. Next pro is that it does have all the bells and whistles. You know, everything's adjustable. It's pretty much like one of those high-end lighter saws, different presets, you know, 22 and a half, 31.6, 45, zero. Goes, does everything. It has like all the bells and whistles that an expensive one would have. And the last pro is it packs up really nice. So, even without the stand that it's on, which I would have put in the stand as well, but that's separate, you know, if you, you can pack it up pretty nice, pretty small form factor for how big it is. So would I recommend this saw? 100%. I have a lot of cheap Harbor Freight tools and I would actually recommend this over many of the others. This is the rare instance where I'd say even if you're a professional and going to be using this for a lot of heavy use, I think it's okay to go ahead and get this saw where some of the other tools I reviewed, I would say no to, get a nicer one if you're going to be using it for work. But yeah, I mean, in my opinion, it's a really good saw for the money, you can't go wrong. I would highly recommend it. If you want to know about the stand, not only Harbor Freight tools are a little bit more cost effective than that, but it does use this rail system, so you can put any miter saw on it. You can put a DeWalt, anything nice. Everything on it, except for these knobs, is metal, which is pretty impressive. And it really folds up nice, as you can see here, to where I can store this huge thing in a very small spot. It's on wheels, easy to move around, light enough, I mean, I'm really impressed with the stand, I like it. You know, it's got the ability to lower and raise these. You can uh, put a stopper on it. It's got nice rounded edges, so things slide on it really nice. Um, I just would expect it to be a little bit more cost effective from Harbor Freight, but yeah, I would highly recommend the stand if you're thinking about getting it, just because everything is so easy to pack up, move around. I mean, 
that's so nice. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.